Bike lane sweepers are a trailer pulled by bike with an electrically powered brush for removing debris from bike lanes. They can sweep glass and nails and rocks. This video is showing the push aside sweeper sweeping leaves. But for ultimate versatility, there's our most popular type of sweeper, the hybrid sweeper. It does everything that the push aside sweeper can do with the added ability to pick up debris. The debris gets collected into two bins at the back of the sweeper that can be dumped or collected into bags. For the hybrid sweeper, the process of switching between push aside and pick up sweeping modes, where you either push debris to the side or collect the debris, is quick and easy as shown here with a couple of wing nuts. Bike lane sweepers are an eco-friendly and cost-effective way of sweeping bike lanes and making cycling safer for everyone. They're easy to set up and use, and the battery lasts a long time, up to four hours depending on the type of debris. Bike lane sweepers can be pulled with any bike, but we recommend pulling them with an e-bike to make it easier for the operator. The sweepers have GPS tracking so you can monitor progress with tracking specifically for when the brush is powered on. We engineer and manufacture these sweepers so they're high quality machines backed by fast, reliable, after-sales support. We offer the push aside and hybrid sweepers for sale. We've sold sweepers to cycling advocacy groups, to individuals, and to municipalities. Now let's hear from one of our satisfied customers. One of the most enduring complaints that we receive from um, our community and cyclists is uh, about the debris in the bike lanes. It's kind of a popular thing here for people to complain about the state of the roads, uh, whether they're bicyclists or drivers. Um, but what drivers don't often understand is that however uh, poor they believe the road is, it's usually in worse condition for cyclists because that debris, the gravel that's breaking up, the potholes, that, that, that gravel moves into the bike lane. And then you've got people riding with much smaller tires who are much more affected by that. So it's a, it's a really big safety hazard here, um, and it's one we hear about quite a bit. Some cities are, are hesitant to, to purchase something that costs $200,000 off the bat, so we're showing them that this is a good option, and they can't say, we don't know how to do it anymore, because, you know, if, if, if us, like the little old bike lane, or the little old bike coalition can figure out how to sweep it, then, then so can their, you know, very well-equipped team. Another thing we kind of wondered about was emptying the bins and how that would work, and it's just it's just really easy. They're already low to the ground, so we just sort of inch them out into a bag and then slide them back in. So they slide in and out really easily, um, and that wasn't a concern at all after we tried it the first time. I really hope that um, different local governments and municipalities will consider using the bike lane sweeper um, because it is so cost effective. I mean, we, we advocate all the time for, for upgrades, and they're usually very expensive. Infrastructure projects are hugely expensive. This is peanuts compared to almost anything that we ask for. So um, it's, it's really, the return on investment is huge. Uh, and for those who might be thinking, well, then we have to have staff on bikes, most jurisdictions have a model for that. They have police who are already out there working on bikes. Um, so that's a good, uh, I think, place to start when considering having more employees on bikes.